All right, this is going to be a quick demonstration of how to set up a topology optimization in HyperMesh. Um, as you can see, I already have my elements ready. My design space is green, non-design space is yellow. I have my constraints and my loads. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new material. And so let's create a material. We're going to call it aluminum. Make sure the card image is matte one. And we're going to card edit this material once we create. So when I click create, it'll bring up the card edit box. So let's give this material a Young's modulus of 1 times 10 to the 7th. And let's give it a Poisson's ratio of 0.3. That looks good. So we'll click return. And that material is created. Now we're going to create some properties, one corresponding to each the design space and the non-design space. So first we have design. Make sure the card image is piece solid because these are solid elements. And the color will make it green so it corresponds with this and the material is assigned to aluminum. That looks good. We don't need a card edit this thing, so I will uncheck that box and create it. So there we have design. Let's create another one for the non-design space. Non-design. And P-Solid, let's make this one yellow so we can distinguish them. And the material is also aluminum. Great. Now we need to assign these properties to the elements that they correspond to. So we right click on the property and say assign and we click elements. It's which elements should we assign them to? Well, let's click by collector and we want collector number one, which is design space. Select and there we see they are selected. So we can proceed and let's do the same for the non-design space. Right click, assign elements by collector number two, which is the non-design space. Select Great. Proceed. Okay. Now we have those properties ready. Let's make a load step, which will um, tie together the SPCs and the loads and the situation that the optimization will run on. So we do that by going to Analysis, Load Steps. Let's call it Static 1. Um, the type should be Linear Static, because uh, in this case we're just going to do a static one. You can do other ones such as buckling, but we're just going to do a static. The SPCs are the constraints, and we want to select number one for that and the loads are in the load collector two okay so we can click create and there is our load step um, you can have more than one load steps more than one load step in an optimization in our example we're just going to have the one so next we're going to create some responses so we will do that by going to analysis optimization responses so the first one let's make, let's call it WComp. It is the response type weighted compliance, and it will ask us which load step to select. So we're going to select static one, the load step we just created, return, and create. So now we've made that response WComp, weighted compliance. Let's make another one called volume fraction. And the response type then is, over here on the left, volume frac and it asks us which properties should have this response tied to. So we want only number one, which is the design space. Select and create. Okay, now you can also have more than just two responses in an optimization. Um, in our case, we only have two. You always want to, we need to constrain all of the responses except for the last one, except for one, and that, that last one we set an objective to that response. So to constrain them, we go back to so analysis optimization and we go to deconstraints. So we're going to call this constraint, let's call it volfrac, since the, the, this have to do with the volume fraction. Um, the response is number two, which is volume fraction, and the upper bound is uh, we're going to give it 0.25. So what we're doing here is we're only allowing Optistruct to use 25% of the original material in this design space. So we click create and there we have our constraint. Next let's make, now that they're all constrained except for one, we will put an, an objective for the last one. So you do that once again in optimization here, objective, and the response we want is WComp, which is number one. And what do we want to do? We want to minimize the weighted compliance. So as we know, since compliance is inversely related to 
um, stiffness, if we minimize compliance, we will maximize stiffness. So what we're doing here, I'm going to create this, is we are telling HyperMesh and OptiStruct really to make the stiffest structure possible with only 25% of the material. All right, next we need to make a design variable. So we go back to the optimization panel. And on the top left, we're going to make a topology design variable, desvar. So let's just call it topo1. That looks good. Make sure it's a P solid type. And the properties, we only want it to relate to the design space, number one, the green. Um, we don't. Uh, if we selected number two, it would do topology optimization on both um, properties, but we just want it just this one. So select. That looks good. Create. And then the last thing we're going to do is just make sure the control cards are set up correctly. So if I go back to the main here and go analysis, control cards, um, global output request, I'm going to select displacement and ESE. And then we go to the format of the displacement. We want it to give us an H3D file. And the ESE, the ESE as well, we want an H3D file. So that way it will give us two H3D files we can open up in Hyperview to look at the results. Return. And another useful one I'm going to select at the end here is screen out return. And so this way it will print everything to the screen that it's doing as it, as it runs the optimization. Okay, now I have those two cards it is ready to go so analysis I will go to OptiStruct and then I tell it where I want to save the file in this case this folder is good so I'll say save it here and run options let's run a check first so if we run a check I'm going to hit OptiStruct it will check all the data make sure it's all set up correctly to run the optimization and as we can see everything's good it's ready to go okay so we can close this and change it to optimization and then click OptiStruct and now it'll run a check again and then it will start going so here we are iteration 0 and it has started the optimization now because of the screen was enabled we can see each step and see what happened uh, what is happening as it goes um, but other than that you can just leave it there it's already done the first iteration and it's on to the next one